all fat people are lazy we don't want to do anything we don't want to work we just want to sit around and eat all day warm and just delicious and just mm, mm. I, how you smell like an island it just looks how it smells oh I like to tell people it's the upper echelon of Japanese cherry blossom. Opulence, okay, wealth. Take some of these contacts, cause you was bad. <laughs> Hey gems, it's a girl Miss Jamima and we are back at it again with another video. So today, we are going to be doing a video about fragrances. Now, you might be wondering what the title is about. So basically this topic came about because I received two questions that kind of had me raising my eyebrow a bit. So the first request was from a woman asking me to show my collection because she wanted to see what fragrances plus size women were buying. Okay, that was one. And the second one was a woman asking me for my opinions on what she should purchase as a plus size woman. And she specifically said, what are like fat girl fragrances? And I read it and I was like, understanding what you mean when you say fat girl fra fragrances are fragrances baby like perfume is perfume <laughs> i'm not understanding what someone's size has to do with it but you know what i said I i'm gonna twist this on y'all okay i am basically going to take all of the assumptions and all the negative connotations that people have about plus size people and show you how to refute that, how to level up past that using fragrances, baby. Take some mother freaking notes because I'm about to spill tea, baby. Now, sis, you've been watching a couple of these videos now. You've been watching. And you like it. You comment here and there. You put a nice little thumbs up. You like it. So why aren't you subscribed? So stop playing and join, this, jo 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 join the gem squad, okay? It's lit over here. Come join us, sis. Now, let's get started on the video. <laughs> so, really quick disclaimer. I make a lot of gender-based stereotypes in this video, mainly because I'm speaking from my own perspective and how I feel, because that's pretty much all I can do. I can only experience me. So this does not account for all women or all people that identify as women or whatever the case may be. So please keep that in mind. Um, I hope I don't offend anybody, but yeah, I'm basically speaking from my perspective and then saying women. So <laughs> I might watch this back like, girl, did all women say this or is this you? So keep that in mind. This is me. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> my bad, y'all. So some of these stereotypes and assumptions and negative connotations are like opposites of each other. Because when do people hate on you and actually make sense? <laughs> Rarely. So keep that in mind when I talk about these flaws or stereotypes that people have in mind when they think about plus size people. Um, and I literally wrote down all my notes. Okay, baby, it's... So I'm going to have my notebook in my hand, baby, because who's going to memorize all of this? Not me. Okay, so... The first stereotype that people have about plus size people, um, especially about plus size women in particular, I think, but it goes for both or all genders, um, is that plus size people are shy. And baby, maybe you are, maybe you're not. Either way, if you don't want to come off that shy, what better fragrance than something that announces your presence, okay? What better fragrance than something that says, I am here. That was so dramatic and didn't even come out in the right accent, okay? That's not where I wanted to go. But that's where we ended up, so we're gonna move. <laughs> but you need a, a fire fragrance that's gonna announce your presence. And if you are shy, you want something that's going to speak for you, but that's not gonna do too much. You don't wanna overwhelm anybody else or yourself. So you need a nice balanced fragrance that's going to announce your presence, but in like a cool, classy way like, yeah. I'm here, all eyes on me, okay? We don't need to scream, we don't need to shout, we don't need to yell. It's just a cool, calm, collected, chilled, yeah, I'm here, what's up? And for me, that fragrance is 
YSL Libre uh, Intense, okay? The intense version, baby. Now, the regular version is fire, but that in, that intense, baby, she's intense, okay? But she's intense in all the right ways. Now, let me get you the deets on this perfume, baby. So, I classify this as bold and sexy. I love this fragrance, especially for a night out. When I want to do a little shun shun, but I don't want to do too much. But I want to make sure people know that I came, I showed up, and I showed out. All right. So, this fragrance has lavender essence, orange blossom, orchid accord, and is classified as a warm floral. Okay. You can get this at Sephora. The one ounce is $80 and the three ounce is $132. So once again, I love this perfume because it is a statement scent and it's a great way to have people notice you, but it's not overwhelming. And I feel like that's a nice, beautiful balance, uh, especially for those that really are shy. A nice, beautiful balance, a nice attention grabber, a nice conversation starter. Okay, baby. The next assumption that people have about plus size people is that we're not sexy. We're not attractive. Are you mad? You can look at this face right now. You can look at this body, yaddy, yaddy and say, that's not a fine baby. That's not sexy. Like it's giving blind. It's giving here. Put, Please take take some of these contacts because you was blind. <laughs> take these contacts, baby, because you was blind. All right, oh, I'm sorry. Please see an ophthalmologist. Your retina, your cornea, your cornea is giving corny, baby. There's corn in your cornea. If you can't see the fineness. That is here in this big body lens, all right? So, to dispute this ill-gotten, this incorrect, false claim, fake news, you're gonna need the one and only, the one and only Baccarat Rouge. Okay, now listen, hear me out now. Baccarat Rouge is very popular right now. I like to tell people it's the upper echelon of Japanese cherry blossom. Okay, we all had our Japanese cherry blossom phase. Everybody had a bottle, but you know what? Everybody was smelling good, so stop playing with the kid. Everybody was smelling good. Now, I love Baccarat Rouge for me personally. It's one of my favorite sexy scents. It's what I wear when I want to feel my ultimate level of sexy. But that being said, you know, fragrances smell different on different people, okay? Pheromones, body chemistry, um, products, oils, lotions, um, all that plays a difference in how a fragrance reacts on you. So not everybody loves Baccarat. It's also expensive, like I get it. I just, I, I had to put that in there because it's my personal fave. But another fave that I absolutely love is Killian Princess. I just, I love her so, so much. I love her so much. So let me get into these details, okay? So Baccarat Rouge uh, currently goes for $325 for 2.4 ounces and $625 if you get the big body bands bottle and it's 6.8 ounces and it has jasmine, saffron, cedarwood, ambergris, ambergris, child, I don't know how to say that. This is embarrassing. Why did I learn this word before I started this video, child? For Princess Killian, you can get it at Sephora. That's where I got mine. Um, and you can get the one ounce for $75, the 3.4 ounce for $135, and a .25 ounce, like a little rollerball one, for $30. Um, and that is comprised of ginger, green tea, and marshmallow. Like, those notes sound so off the wall together. But when I tell you it is a beautiful, like, warm, sweet, like fragrance like when you think of marshmallow like there's really i don't know how they did it but you really get that marshmallow note but it's like mature it's not like that sickly sweet perfume you can get like at claire's or something you know this is like really classy um i don't know how you know how you just imagine a marshmallow being like warm and fluffy inside of like a s'more imagine princess killian making you come off that way just as warm and just delicious and just Mm. Baby, I'm a, I'm, I'm basically a s'more when I wear it. All this chocolate covered by this marshmallow. Baby, what's not to love? <laughs> Stop playing. Give me your number now. Um, 
yeah so i definitely recommend both of these fragrances if you want to let people know like i am woman okay i am woman i am fearless i am sexy i'm divine i am at the ball i mean i am everything i'm on all right tiktok has me in a chokehold and i just please let me go let me go Ugh. now the next assumption um that people have about plus size um and i, I want to i'm saying plus size people but i guess as a plus size woman i'm more so leaning into that that realm because that's what i've experienced but um a lot of people don't see plus size women as soft and feminine they're not seen as people that they need to be gentle with you know um you kind of just assume plus size women are just overly strong and abrasive and i i i really would like to dispel that assumption like baby i'm very soft like yes i can be loud and kiki and you know ch chop it up with the next one but no at the root of it like i'm soft i please treat me very delicately i'm sensitive all right damsel in distress like be careful how you talk to me how you move with me how you touch me like ooh. and to, to take it even deeper like even when it comes to you know adult activity like i've had men tell me that you know they feel like they have to go harder if they're with a plus size woman and i'm just like for for what <laughs> sir you're you're fighting me <laughs> you're throwing hands it's giving domestic violence <laughs> like you're stop please sir now if that's the case for the person you're with it's because that's what that specific person is into it's not a size thing like but sir this flower is just as delicate as this size four women's thought like stop play ah move gentle gentle please I, d <sighs> be careful don't play with your life all right move with ease y'all be hot in the pot simmer down anyways i felt that on a personal level i am sorry but um the perfect fragrance for this in my opinion is um burberry her now i absolutely love this fragrance it is the best girly feminine dainty floral perfume that i have ever encountered and that's not even my aesthetic it's not even a type of fragrance i gravitate towards but i love this perfume and not only on me because it smells fire on me baby don't get it twisted but it smells amazing across the board like i remember a friend was wearing it and I didn't recognize a sit on her because like I said fragrances can pull different based on your body chemistry right um and so I just smelled her and I was just like what are you wearing and she told me what she was wearing I said mine don't smell like that baby but I'm just like it doesn't even matter because it smells amazing 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 and I love that it is such a floral and feminine fragrance because I feel like it helps to dispel this myth that plus size women cannot be soft especially because this is my experience but black women women of color like we can't be soft and feminine like baby please move gentle Pomposu. relax okay like a woman is a woman is a woman stop playing with me okay watch how you touch me be soft and this <laughs> But yeah, so I love this fragrance because I feel like it's a gentle reminder that plus size women are soft and we need love too. You know, like we're still women. All right, don't forget it. Don't forget it. <laughs> okay, so um, you can get this at Sephora. The 1.6 ounce is currently going for $102. The 3.3 ounce is currently going for $128. And it is classified as a fruity floral. And it has dark berries, jasmine, musk, amber. Um, and it's just really just a beautiful, fresh, feminine, soft fragrance. And I am obsessed with it. Absolutely obsessed with it. And I'm like, if you look at it, it's just like, it just looks how it smells. Like fresh and feminine. Absolutely love this. 
absolutely freaking lutely love this. Ugh. Okay. So another stereotype that people have about plus size people is that fat people stink. Fat people have bad hygiene. Fat people don't wash. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but baby, who stink? Who? What? What? Um. Yeah, so I figured one of the best ways to um, contradict this statement is to wear a nice, fresh fragrance. Um, and one of my go-tos that I absolutely love is from the Atelier Cologne collection. So this is a uh, Clementine, California, um, and I am literally obsessed with this. And I'm so sad because when I was looking for it, um, it was discounted everywhere. So I'm like, I don't know if they're rebranding. I don't know if they're being discontinued, if they're going out of business. I don't know what's going on, but y'all, if y'all can find this, please get your hands on it. Like it is, oh, it's like the cousin of Dolce Gabbana light blue. I had that perfume. I used to wear it here and there, but I wasn't in love with this. This is like its cousin who's more refined, more sophisticated, has more depth to it. Like, I stand this. Oh my God. Oh, it smells so good. So let me break it down. It has vetiver, clementine, and star anise. Um, classified under fresh citrus and fruits. Oh my gosh, it smells so freaking good. So, um... Dang, it was out of stock at Sephora when I last checked. And at Saks, you can get the big bottle, the 6.7 ounce for $164.50. Um, so yeah, you would have to really do your, your search to find this one. But it's such a bright, fresh fragrance. Like, I cannot wait till summer to really get all my wear out of it. But now I almost don't even want to wear it because what if it's really discontinued? Y'all, I'm going to be hurt. Oh, but it smells so good. It's like summertime. On the best day 70 degrees the sun is out you just came out of a long winter you're wearing some nice poom poom shorts a cute crop top okay everything is just moisturized you just looking good and you're on a beach like when i tell y'all this is all the vibes just sipping on coconut water uh, uh, all the vibes okay i absolutely love it someone that smells so fresh and airy is less likely to be viewed as some of the bad hygiene. Like you, the two just doesn't go together. Like fresh and airy reminds you of fresh laundry, reminds you of cleanliness. So stop playing with the kids. Stop playing with the big body benzes, okay? Period. We not all out here walking around musty. Everybody has their moments. <laughs> We're all human. But 98, no, 99.9999999999% of the time, we keeping it cute. <laughs> okay, okay, period. Um, next is the assumption that all fat people are lazy. We don't want to do anything. We don't want to work. We just want to sit around and eat all day. Like, first of all, that sounds like the average person. <laughs> don't put that on us. Thank you. Um, but baby, like, first of all, one thing about it, she's very much a hard worker, okay? Uh, she's very much a go-getter. She's very much self-motivated, okay? She very much gets what she wants. She goes after what she wants, period. She's very much not scared of hard work. Like, yes, I have lazy moments, but I'm a hard worker. So, what you finna do with that? What you finna do with that? Okay, period. Um, so to combat this, I I feel like this fragrance should exude opulence. It should exude wealth. It should exude power, sophistication, because someone that exudes opulence cannot be lazy. A hard worker works for their coins, works for their monies. So if I have all this monies, how can I be lazy? Of course, there are always ways around it. But the point is, to get that opulence, I got to work for it, right? So I can't be lazy if I'm working, right? Boom. So this is actually an oil. I have not yet purchased the actual perfume of this yet. I'm going to get it in the summer 
which is when I'll really be wearing this. But the oils, every time I wear the oils, I always get compliments. And this is Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. Baby, when I said she gives opulence, <laughs> she gives rich, she gives on a yacht and a beach hat flowing. Wow, that's not contradicting lazy because if you want to know y'all chilling, it's giving vacation PTO. PTO means working. Okay, listen, I said what I said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but yeah, I recommend the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. It's a very light, mature fragrance. So it has notes of Coco de Mer. I don't know if that's Mer, Mer. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, Yang Yang, Comoros Islands, Cardamom. That's how you know it's giving opulence. I don't know what none of the stuff is I just read. I can't even pronounce it. I, how you smell like an island? I. Hmm. It's, it's no making sense, but that's how you know the opulence, okay, wealth. So a great way to combat that laziness, put something that smells expensive, that people know that you work for your coin, okay? You work to buy that bottle, honey, period. Last but not least, um, this one kind of pairs to the one I mentioned before about um, plus size people not being seen as soft. And I felt like that one was twofold because for one, um, yeah, um, we can be soft and we want gentleness and we want love and we want peace and all that stuff. Um, but on the other side of that, it's like, yeah, so, so what if I'm not soft? So what? Like, why, why is that always a negative thing? You know, it's like, why, why can't I be loud? Why can't I be a little more abrasive? Why can't I be confident? Why can't I move like this in this way? Um, and this next fragrance I feel like is perfect for this because it kind of embodies the fact that um, I can be this woman and I can embody these masculine traits and I can still be fly as hell in both. I can still be this perfect blend of both. And you're not gonna make me feel bad just because I'm plus size or box me into something because I am plus size. And that's why I say it's twofold because baby, it's, it's both ways and what? Sometimes I wanna be more masculine. And what? What is he gonna do about it, huh? So I love this fragrance and it is Zara Vibrant Leather. Um, I featured this in my last Zara haul, okay? And one thing about Zara, she won't give you a discounted fragrance, honey. She's gonna give you a fragrance on the low. So a lot of these were pricier and there are alternatives out there where you can get um, the same or similar scents for less. So I would definitely explore those options if you know you're not willing to splurge on these right now. But this one, affordable love it a great purchase for this topic or this sector um and it is composed of bergamot leather and bamboo mm. i really love this cologne and i feel like it's a great way to say you know what i do embody some of those more masculine traits and i'm still a woman or i'm still plus size and i still look good i'm still fly i'm still doing what i need to do and none of that matters. None of your perceptions of me matter because at the end of the day, I am who I am and I look amazing and I feel amazing and I smell amazing while being that. Okay, period. Mm. Oh, I love that. Oh, y'all. So yeah, so of course I pulled all of these fragrances from my collection. These are all uh, perfumes and colognes that I wear personally. Um, and I feel like these are great recommendations for plus size people um plus size women in, in particular because that's what i relate to you know um so i would definitely recommend that you check these out listen get you a sample if you're not a fragrance girl listen some of us fragrance girls honey one thing about us we gonna buy <laughs> so if you're not a fragrance girl or that heavy into it i completely understand nobody's saying you need all of these nobody's saying you need any of these to be honest um but if you do want to try Please go to Sephora, try it out for yourself, go to Bloomingdale's, um, smell them in store, get samples, um, try out the more discounted dupes. Listen, there are options for everyone, okay? Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you understood the take that I was taking on it. 
because at the end of the day there is no such thing as fragrances for specific body types it's whatever you like whatever you feel like smells good on you whatever you feel like makes people enjoy your presence if you care about that um but yeah it's, it's whatever is it's your heart's desire all right so thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you guys are interested in more fragrance videos because i actually really enjoyed like doing a, a deep dive to think about these fragrances and like what they mean what they body um the kind of impact that they have so let me know if you want more fragrance videos baby because one thing about me <laughs> i'ma do it and i'm gonna see y'all in the next one toodles <laughs>